Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to do a watch me apply video for the American Express green card. Now I actually just did a video going over the elevated offer for the American Express green card last week. And I knew that actually I wanted to get this card because it just has a really good sign up bonus currently at this moment. And I actually think that this is one of the most underrated cards out there. Now I already actually happen to have the American Express Platinum and Gold card. So it's gonna be interesting to see how, if I actually happen to be approved for this card, adding this card to my wallet and having the full setup of the American Express charge cards. If approved, I definitely will keep this card for at least a year, but I'm very curious of how much value I'll actually end up getting with this card, having these other two cards in my wallet. Now, before I jump over to the computer and apply for this card, I just wanna do a quick rundown of this elevated offer that's currently going on for the American Express green card. With the American Express green card, you currently are gonna get yourself a 60,000 point sign up bonus after you're spending $3,000 in the first six months of having this card. Additionally, you get yourself 20% back on travel purchases, up to $200 back, which means that for the first six months of having this card, if you end up spending $1,000 on travel purchases, you end up getting yourself $200 in a statement credit. And when it comes to earning potential with this card, you're gonna get yourself 3X back on travel, 3X back on transit, 3X back at restaurants, and then 1X back on all the purchases. Now this card does have a $150 annual fee. However, this card also has some benefits and perks that are connected with it to help offset the annual fee. You get yourself a $189 clear credit. So this is a full credit towards getting clear. Clear, for those of you who aren't familiar with it, is going to be a service that allows you to speed past security at the airport. And then also you're gonna get yourself a $100 lounge buddy credit, which allows you to access different lounges across the globe and you get to get yourself $100 towards entering those lounges. So if you can take full advantage of both of these credits, you're going to get yourself $289 in value, which easily offsets the annual fee. So if you are someone who actually likes either one of these perks, then definitely look at this card because it's gonna end up making a lot of sense for you. Now, in my opinion, it makes a lot of sense to apply for this card now just because of how awesome this sign-up bonus is. I'm definitely going to easily offset the annual fee, not even from the perks that are connected with it, but because that 20% back on the travel purchases up to the first $1,000 spend. So getting myself $200 back in travel purchases is going to be easy for me to do in the first six months because I actually happen to take Uber, Lyft, and taxis quite a bit. So that travel statement credit will easily offset the annual fee for me. And then being able to get those 60,000 membership reward points is going to be incredibly valuable for me. If you actually end up looking back at American Express cards like right before COVID, the sign-up bonuses for these cards weren't very strong. I mean, I remember seeing like the American Express Gold card having a sign-up bonus being somewhere near like 35-ish thousand points if I remember correctly. And now you look at it, it's somewhere near either like 60,000 or 75 or even 90,000 membership reward points. The Platinum card has 80, 100, 125, 150,000 membership reward points. And the green card right now is actually at 60,000. I've never seen the green card anywhere near this type of number. American Express is just pumping out membership reward points and allowing people to rack up so many, whether it be through these sign-up bonuses. Years ago, I feel like people would rack up a lot of membership reward points because they were high spenders. And these cards do actually have high multipliers in these cards. But now if you actually end up looking at it, you can rack up so many points just from these sign-up bonuses. Even though you can only get yourself once in a lifetime with these sign-up bonuses, they're just so lucrative right now that if you can take advantage of them, you can definitely end up racking up a ton of membership reward points for this year and future years. And then also with a service like Rakuten that allows you to get yourself membership reward points instead of cash back when you end up using their shopping portal. If you don't already happen to have a Rakuten account, I will have a referral link in the description box. And if you decide to use it, you get yourself $30 back on your first $30 purchase. And then after that, you can end up actually making your cash back become membership war points to get yourself even more value for your travel. So a little bit more information before I go apply for this card. My credit score right now is in the high 700s. I've only applied for two personal credit cards this year. They both were in the month of April. And I actually applied for zero personal credit cards last year. All the credit cards I got last year were all business credit cards. And the good thing about applying for business credit cards is that while they do actually add a hard inquiry to your account, they don't add any personal lines of credit to your personal credit report. I do already have a relationship with American Express. And the last American Express card that I did actually apply for and get a approved for was the American Express Hilton Business Credit Card that I applied for in October of last year. So now that I gave you that rundown to allow you to know some information about myself before I actually went to apply for the card, now I'm going to jump over to the computer and apply for my American Express green card. Alrighty, so this is going to be my first Watch Me Apply video. I've seen numerous other creators do these videos before, and I see them actually end up getting nervous when they're doing it. And I've gotten a little bit nervous before when applying for cards, but I've applied for many cards in my life. I've been approved for a lot of them. I've been denied for a few, but even the few that I've been denied for, I'm pretty sure that the majority of them eventually over time have actually been approved for those cards. So I'm the type of person where I'd rather attempt something and fail 
and at least actually attempted it versus always wondering what could have happened with actually applying for those cards. So if you are actually interested in these cards, don't get super worried about maybe getting denied for the cards. You have to actually do the attempt and apply for these cards to even actually have a chance. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply for this card, but before I actually apply for this card, I'm actually gonna use another person's referral link. So if you happen to have a player two, meaning like a spouse, or you happen to have a close friend who happens to have a referral link, or if you wanna help out another content creator, then the best way to do that would actually end up to just use their referral links. And it doesn't affect you at all. So all you have to do is just click our link and it's an easy way to give back to a creator that you actually may end up liking his work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on to Stan the Credit Frogs um, page. So I actually went on to his YouTube page and then he has a link where it actually brings me to his website right here. And then from here, I'm actually gonna scroll down and end up seeing the different offers he actually has when it comes to uh, for the different referrals. Now, the thing about it is he actually doesn't have the American Express green card on here. Um, however, the beautiful thing about American Express is that if you actually happen to have one of American Express's cards, you actually can use that card to refer the vast majority of American Express cards. So say you happen to have something like the Chase Sapphire Preferred, you can't refer the Freedom cards or the United cards, but if you happen to have one of American Express's charge cards, you actually can refer the vast majority of American Express's cards. So this doesn't work out with their co-branded cards like the uh, Hilton cards or their Delta cards. With those, you can actually only refer within those families. But if you happen to have the charge cards, you actually can refer outside of the families. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna click on the American Express referral link right here. It's gonna bring up the gold card, but since I already have the gold card and this is not a card that I'm looking to get, I just click right here on personal cards. And then what it's gonna do, it's gonna bring up the vast majority of American Express's cards. So then as I scroll down here, and here it is, here's the offer for the American Express green card, the exact offer I'm looking for, 60,000 membership reward points after I spend $3,000 in the first six months, plus 20% back on my first $1,000 in travel purchase, give me back $200 in a statement credit for travel. But I always make sure that the links are competitive, so while you do wanna help out other creators, just make sure that you are getting the best offer that you can for yourself. So I'm gonna click right here on apply now. And right here, it's gonna bring me to the application. And then on the application, it's gonna be similar to pretty much all credit card applications where they want your name, your date of birth, your email address, your phone number, your actual address, the amount of income you end up making, source of income, social security number. Now, a lot of times I get the question that people ask me, what should they put down for their income? Now, I'm not gonna tell people to lie, but what I will say is this, is that American Express isn't going to be asking you for proof of your income unless you end up putting in something that is incredibly high for your area. So if you happen to live in East Kentucky and you put down you make $150,000 a year, American Express might actually end up asking questions about that. But if you end up living in Santa Monica or Beverly Hills, you end up putting in the exact same amount, that is a reasonable amount of money for people to end up making in this location. So I'm gonna quickly fill in this information and then apply for this card. All right, so I filled it out. So now I'm on the page where they end up giving you terms and conditions. So right here, it'll give me the different information on the APR and all that, which is stuff that I pretty much never look at because I never hold a balance at all. Um, you don't wanna do that if you are gonna be getting these cards because if you do, then you end up defeating the purpose of actually trying to win in the points and miles game and the interest rates are just incredibly high. So after that, you scroll down, you look at it, you click on this box, and then you end up having agree and submit application. So here we go, see whether or not I actually end up getting approved. Processing the response. Okay, so now it's asking me if I like to request any additional cards before continuing. I'm just gonna go scroll down and skip this step. It says, good news, you have been approved. So I've been approved for the American Express green card. Now it's asking me if I actually want to go forward with the application. This is the cool thing about American Express that they're actually gonna let you know whether or not um, if you actually still want to move forward and you can actually not have it impact your credit score. But I'm just going to accept the card and it brings me over this page where if I actually wanna get myself a digital number now, I actually can, which I think I'm gonna do because there actually are some purchases that I wanna make with this card. Um, but yes, I've been approved for the American Express green card. So I'm very happy I applied for this card. Uh, it's gonna be a great new addition to have in my wallet. And I still actually think that the American Express green card is one of the most underrated cards out there. Now, one thing that I am gonna do is I'm actually gonna call up American Express and then actually tell them that I want this card to be expedited to me. And American Express is really good about doing this usually. So I'm just gonna give them a call. So instead of having to wait all the way till another week to actually end up getting this card, chances are I'm gonna get this card maybe in like the next couple business days to actually start to put purchases on this new card that I'm gonna have in my wallet. 
So just like that, I applied and got approved for an American Express green card. It's always a great feeling to get approved for a new credit card, and the quickest way to rack up a lot of points is going to be those welcome offers that are connected with these cards. In the last three or four years, I pretty much have always been working on a new welcome offer, and this is the reason why I've been able to rack up so many points over the course of this time. American Express membership award points are some of the best in the game. If you're someone who's looking to try to fly to either international, business or first class, then having membership reward points can definitely end up allowing you to do that for really good value. I've actually been using up quite a bit of these lately, so I'm happy to be adding 60,000 new membership reward points to my account from getting this American Express green card. 60,000 membership reward points can actually end up being enough points to fly in a business class flight from the east coast of the US over to Europe. You can end up doing this with Virgin Atlantic flying on Delta, or you can actually end up doing this through KLM flying blue, or you can end up doing this through Iberia, which is actually end up being the cheapest one if you actually want to fly over to Madrid. All of these programs are transfer partners with American Express. They usually transfer at a one-to-one -one ratio, but there are times where you actually can end up getting yourself transfer bonuses. In fact, each one of the programs that I just named, whether it be Iberia or KLM flying blue or Virgin Atlantic, have all actually had transfer bonuses of either 25 or 30% with American Express in the last year. So if you end up taking advantage of one of these transfer bonuses, you can end up getting yourself even more value for your membership reward points. Now, if you are interested in getting yourself the American Express green card while this elevated offer is still around, I will have a new referral link for this green card in my description box. If you decide to use it, it will really help out the channel and I'll be incredibly thankful for your support. But let me know in the comment section down below, what are your feelings about the American Express green card? Is this a card that you wanna get? Is this a card that you've had before? Or do you think this card is either overrated or underrated? Drop it down in the comment section down below. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you do happen to have any questions, also drop those down in the comment section down below. I'll do the best I can to answer them. If you happen to really like this video, then please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, share this video, and have a beautiful rest of your day. Peace.